Before we get into today's episode, guys, I just want to say thank you to our sponsor, Waterboy. Hundreds of thousands of people already trust Waterboy as their hangover cure. It's time to stop dealing with that hangxiety alone. For a limited time, our listeners get an exclusive 15% off discount with our link at waterboy.com slash almost Friday. That's 15% off at waterboy.com forward slash almost Friday. It's time to ho, 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 hydrate this holiday season. <laughs> and thank you to our sponsor, Game Time, guys. Okay, take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code FRIDAY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code F-R-I-D-A-Y for $20 off. Guys, welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast. I'm back. I'm in good spirits. I'm healthier. Uh, we got a wonderful guest on today, Brandon Wardell. Unfortunately, his co-host, his partner in crime, Jamel Johnson, isn't here. They host the Brandon Jamel Show. Um, they were supposed to come on, but I was sick. And we'll get into a little bit of that later. Liam, how are you? I'm good. Go check those fellas out on tour. They, they're they always on the road doing stand-up. They are. Uh, so check their dates. And and check out the Brandon Jamel Show podcast. It's fantastic. And we're on it. We have an episode of it. Yeah, we do. It's probably, probably like their most down... It's pr- it probably is their episode with like the most hits or downloads on our yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um... I'm all right, man. Emily, anything? Got any, Got no, anything? I'm just... Uh, I got recalibrate. I'm just uh, recovering from my mental breakdown yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... Emily cried in front of us yesterday, I guess. And it was really embarrassing. Yeah, Liam got hard. It was really... And weird. then... I did not. Knock that off. Knock that off, Will. Let's joke and, then I, and then I, like, started to stop crying, and then Liam goes, okay, group hug. And it made me cry even more. <laughs> And I pinched her right here as hard as I could. I feel so embarrassed that I forgot we were recording. Not even forgot, just didn't know. How did I not know? Oh my God, we have to move on. I don't know how. We have it's okay. To. Like you're Delulu from your meds. Hmm. We should talk about like sports or something that I know. What's going on in the sports world? Let's get into this. Some There's sports a world. hard knocks with the Dolphins. Have you seen it? Yeah, and Will Levis uh, jacked his pee-pee off onto the Dolphins. Yeah, he did. And it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, he did, dude. And they were... Uh, I can't believe how fast they turned it around. Because I was catching up on Hard Knocks, and that episode happened with the Titans, and I was like, this literally happened 12 hours ago. Oh, it's already out? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I watched it last night. Um, That game was insane. 99% chance to win the game for the Dolphins, and they blew it. Are you a Dolphin Choke guy? Choke artist. No. I just like, I just love the game, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm just like a fan of the game. Will Levis is too jacked, bro. He's a big, he's a big guy. Can't even look at him. A big fella. Get all swollen. Yeah. My brain not working. I'm still sick. <laughs> What's the, what was the worst part about your illness? Um, I couldn't watch TV. I was like, dude, I was looking forward to like you were, when you were a kid and you would get sick, you'd watch Price is Right all day. And you'd watch like Family Matters all day. Yeah. I was looking forward to like watching some cartoons or something. Going back to the good old days, I couldn't watch TV for more than like five to ten minutes without my head exploding. That sucks. Um, I had to eat soup for three days. Horrible. Three days, same meal, Moto Ramen, every single day, Uber Eats. Cost me like 60 bucks to eat soup once. Soup. Got there cold. We're, we're, we're living in a dystopia. Why couldn't you just make soup? Well, well I didn't have the ingredients. Your lovely <laughs> girlfriend. I'm not going to send her on errands. Fair That's enough. Really nice of you. Not in this day and age. When are you guys going home for the holidays? I'm going home Friday. Monday. I haven't gotten my flight yet. What? Yeah. You bought your flight? No. Dude, it's going to cost you like 1500 bucks. Really? I mean, when are you flying home? I don't know. Okay, then you could probably find one for like six or six or seven hundo. Fuck me, dude. Guess how much my flight home costs? How much? It's kind of a brag. What? There and back, 270 How? No one wants to fly to Dallas. It's true. And it's actually like one of the busiest airports. 
no. in the country. Okay, but imagine how expensive the flights are to Miami when everyone's trying to go there on winter break. Is that where your family lives? Yeah. Mm, that's where the new GTA is. We talked about this. I'm a broken record. I have nothing. I am living in a time loop. I, dude, days. I got my Red Dead camp. Is all of, I, It's sick now. It's sick. I've been Get a boat? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I already left that camp. You did? Yeah. Where is the next? Don't even tell me. It's way sicker. Really? Yeah. What do you have to do to get to the next camp? Play, Just, the, play the game. I know, but you have to like upgrade it more? Nope. Just play the game. Did you ever rescue that guy, Zebra and Tiger? Mm -mm. I'm doing that right now. Well, I never did that. See, that's the wonder That's the wonder about the game, the open world game. There's so many little things to do around every nook and cranny, every corner. It's all I think about all the time now. Here's the thing. I That's the one thing I was looking forward to doing while I was sick. You couldn't even do like that? Ten days! You didn't play? In my fucking bed. I played one hour. What? Dude, I couldn't do anything. I was a vegetable. That sucks. It was the worst. It was actually the worst. Did you make it Catherine's problem? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I made it hell on her. I made coming home. I made the only place in the country she feels safe unsafe i was laying booby traps when she was leaving i was eating all the dog shit say river hasn't pooped in like a week <laughs> it's all in my belly <laughs> made her buy different food what, what do you think she would what would be the what what are the consequences of catherine discovering that you've been eating river shit i don't you, okay this is actually really weird like a month a month in when we got river i just asked her point blank like what would you do if you walked in and you found me eating River's poop and I tried to play it off? <laughs> and she was like, I'd break up with you immediately. I don't even believe her, though. I actually don't. I think it would take her like a couple weeks. She would know immediately that it's over. Yeah. But it would take her a couple weeks. And I'd be like, I'm, I'm reformed. That was, I was literally filming a video. <laughs> I was literally for a TikTok. I was literally doing a bit. I was literally doing a bird dog's ad. You're being a crazy bitch. You're being insane. Yeah, I guess that would be a deal breaker. But like, if you're like nibbling, it, it, I guess, how are you eating the shit? Like rubbing a crayon on my Ew. teeth. <laughs> and now everyone knows who, what River looks like. Yeah, uh, with no consent from me. I thought about that, yeah. <laughs> you didn't respond to me. I called you and texted you. Oh, so, well, now you know I didn't see the episode thing. Bro, I've been sick in bed. I've been Yeah, but you just you can't you can't go hey, sure. I didn't even see it though. That's the problem. I don't I don't think you guys you must realize... have been hallucinating the past week. No, I'm not hallucinating. I get in bed, I literally silence my phone, and I lay down on my side. And I let a pile of goop drip and drown myself. Do you and Catherine she, like did you did you, she sleep in the same bed as you while this was happening? I dug her a grave in the backyard and she sleeps in it at night. I say, okay, get used to sense. it. I'm not contagious, so yeah. Okay. Fair enough. What if like let's I just want to revisit a few other options of this. Poop, yes, you're eating rivers poop, she's leaving you. What if you were just eating a dead bird? The carcass of a dead bird, like a, like a finch. She'd be out. You think? Yeah. I mean, what would you do? I mean, if I walked in on my gal eating a dead bird. Because you could walk in on a dog eating a dead bird and still love it. Here's the thing, though. To her, that's a breakup. To me, that's information. I now have leverage. I now can use that for whatever I want. Yeah. It's a good, We're different human beings. And you can't even... You, that's a card that you have that you can't... It's a holographic fucking... Card. Do I have a photo of it? This is a different ball game. You can play that at any point in time. Holster that, use that, and just bring that out on a real, like a rainy day. She doesn't even know you have that. Bang. No, she knows I have it. Either way, just be like, it's fine. And then go, no, it's not. Yeah, I, I don't know. What's the worst thing you've caught someone doing, Emily? The only thing I can think of is like the, the, the birthright man that I found out was cheating on his girlfriend with me yeah that's pretty bad did you tell that on the page yeah and now everyone 
is asking us where the Patreon is, and I feel like it needs to be addressed so that I have to, can stop answering these DMs about it. Haven't we addressed it? On the Patreon, we addressed it. But guys, basically, we're taking a break. I don't know if we're ever coming back. We're too busy. Leave it alone. Moving on. Well, that's not enough information. We also don't want you to pay for the Patreon because... There's no more episodes coming out, so we don't want people to get confused if they're paying for it and then no more episodes come out and you're like, well, I just wasted my money. So, yeah. Where'd that money go? Um, we have it's it's sitting in are those, there. Are those new shoes, Emily? No, but I don't wear them that much. Huh. huh. So the Patreon money's missing. Huh. You got brand spanking new Gucci shoes. Huh. huh. Even in the ton of Coke. Huh. It's like a ton. Lost like 90 pounds in three days. Wait and bringing in second. strapping gigolos every single day. Hold on a freaking minute. Wait a second. Wait a second. You don't think it's not? No. What are you guys doing for New Year's? Blocking out in Miami. <laughs> Sad girl! So sick. Yeah, I'm the sickest. Oh, that is so... Oh, that's so cool, man. Should we revisit the, the birthright story or... Sounds like you want to. Should we do? Wait, I kind of want. You said you were gonna bring it. We last episode we said we we're gonna bring it up. I kind of want you to tell it to Willie and Rusty. Okay, so we'll they, save it for next week. That we're recording in twenty minutes. Uh, news, news to this fucker. What are you doing? Hopefully not drinking. Are you gonna be in LA? I'm doing. No, I'm gonna be in Dallas. You don't know where you're gonna be because you haven't bought your flights. Yeah. You're gonna be broke. I might be in Merland. Merland. That sounds like it's from the medieval times. Nice, man. <laughs> you hammered that immediately. I, I can't do anything. <laughs> I, I'm useless. Where's your fastball, Gus? I, You've lost my, your fastball. My fastball's gone. I have literally nothing. I have nothing to provide. I am a, I'm a puppet right now for advertisers. You are. That's what this is. Is going to your little spine? Are you coming tonight? To the party? Yeah. No. Aw. Fuck, man. I'm going to go get back in bed right after all this is over. Fuck, I'm not coming then. Well, then I'm not coming. Just kidding. Um, also, I still can't hear. You're going to Raleigh. And Jan. Yeah. My friend, one of my best friends lives in Raleigh, and she saw it, and she was upset that I wasn't joining you. How'd she see it? I don't know. I haven't posted about it yet. Oh, maybe she like went on the comedy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I told her to go. January 11th, baby. Come check me out. Raleigh, North Carolina. Check me out, dude. Check me out. And check out the Playdate pod with Liam that was on it last this week. How was it? It was good. It was Liam fun. was talking shit about me. Yeah, I did talk shit about you. I forgot, what? I, I should have I asked for a copy of that episode. I don't know what I said on there. So Andre Brower died. I know. I saw. Did you ever watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Yeah. I love that show. Someone Rachel. said I looked like someone from Brooklyn Nine Nine. That guy. That guy. <laughs> no, the, this woman. No, he's a man. Someone said I looked like. She's gonna say Chelsea Pretty, and she's gonna be like, "Oh my god, stop! I do not look like her." She pulled the best looking photo of Chelsea Pretty. Chelsea Pretty is gorgeous. She is. Who do you look like on that show? I think it's the. Someone said I looked like. Oh, you do look like her. Who? Melissa Fumero? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, shit. Yeah, you kind of do. Wow. I don't... I, I'm looking at these photos of her. Latina queens. Twin Latina queens. Latina queen. I'm not a Latina queen. No, but you, look, you try to look Latina. What? <laughs> Every day you wake you up do. and you go, how do I contour my face to be more Latina? People say I look like this girl, and this is crazy to me. There's a new movie out, the Thanksgiving movie. I heard it's pretty good. I heard that as well. All my friends are enjoying it. This is crazy to me. Addison Ray. Addison Ray's in it? Yeah. With, with, Tim, with Tim D. Tim Dillon. Tim Dillon's in Thanksgiving? Look at this girl. Uh -huh. Really? Mm-hmm. I gotta check it out. Isn't that kind of weird? Oh, yeah. You kind of do, actually. It's the facial structure and it's the nose. I mean, you wish. Taking a quick break to talk to you guys about Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a skill based real money daily fantasy sports game. How does it work? You pick two to six players, and if they will go more or less than their Prize Picks projection, you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. It's so fun. How'd we do last week? Let's see. Last week we did not win. 
This week, we're going to win, though. Yet, this is actually my favorite part of the pod. Yeah, it's probably Let's it. dive back in. Let's dip our toes back in. All right, guys. You know prize picks. You love it. You can do, uh, you can, you know, check out some NFL, NBA, NHL, college football. You can do Valorant. You can do uh, Counter-Strike. Crazy stuff like that. There's so many options. We're going to stick with NFL. Let's, who the fuck is Easton Stick? Yeah, did something happen to uh, Herbert? Oh, yeah, he's out for the season. Really? With what? Shoulder? Damn. Give me. Let's do golf more. Yeah. Easy. 257.5. 257.5 yards against, who's it against? Denver. Denver. Denver? Fuck him. He's going to bury him. Yeah, I mean, what? Denver got 70 points hung on him this year? Yeah, they're fucked. Yeah, go, so, pro, so so now I think about it, Jared Goff will probably have a career game against them. So we'll do more. Denver's like on a hot streak, though. They've so we'll do more. Who's... You know what? Let's get Russ in there. Let's have a hell of a game between these two. More. High-scoring game. Yeah, shit. Let's shoot out. Easton Stick, I'm thinking less. Easton Stick, give me less. $50 to win 250 Woo! Should we place it? Yes. Hell yeah. Prize Picks is currently operational in over 30 states and Canada, not Ontario. Prize Picks is the best way to have action on the game in states like California, Florida, Texas, Georgia, and over 70% of the United States, guys. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Let's get back into the episode. Moving on, let's just get into uh, our very special episode with the very special, special Brandon Wardell. Heard of him? Heard of him? You've seen him. You know him. He's hilarious. And he's right here. Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast. Oh, Thanks for coming, guys. And we have a very special guest. Oh, yeah. Brandon Wardell. Hi. Thank Hello. You Hello. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thanks for Thank coming you. on. And we were supposed to have you last week with your partner in crime. Yes. But I was sick. Yeah, Jamel Johnson, co-host of the Brandon Jamel Show mm -hmm. podcast. Um, but you were sick. Yeah, I, so it turns out I had, I went to Nashville, mm -hmm. came back very sick. Mm. We thought it was COVID. I have a team of doctors, so when I say we, <laughs> I'm referring to them. Uh -huh. We thought it was COVID. It was, turns out it was an ear infection, a sinus infection, and whatever i got in nashville and it's the sickest i've ever been and the doctor looked in my ears and literally laughed out loud when she <laughs> looked through the scope and so i knew i was fucked this is at the the friday beers office uh nurse nurse yeah. room yes yeah, yeah we have her on staff yeah she does great work a lot of cocaine a lot of lice work a lot of working which she laughed at she looked in my ears and laughed <laughs> and i and i knew i was fucked at that point and I'm on so much medicine right now, I can't hear. You can't like my ears are so clogged, and you can't it feels. Feel your face, dude. I actually can't. It feels like <laughs> I um, can. F I can feel the sickness. And uh, it feels like I took like just a small hit of laughing gas, and everything feels off. And she was about to prescribe me cough medicine, like codeine, and then she came back and she was like, "Oh, actually, it, it interacts weird with some of the medicine I'm giving you, so I'm um, so I'm just gonna give you Mucinex." And Fuck. I deflated. I'm just gonna give you. You can just. Get that at the store. Yeah, I was. It, it was. It was over the counter. I was like talking to the pharmacist, and I was like, "Oh, I think she gave me like some cough stuff." Too. <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, you can just get that on the aisle." And I was like, That's "Yeah, so lame." I uh, I've always wanted to lean. I've never <clears throat> leaned. I did lean once. I was bad. I fell asleep. Where were, I, where it's, were <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I was, uh, I was at a buddy's house, and uh, he, yeah, he gave me lean. He gave me lean, and then I um, immediately fell asleep, mm -hmm. and I, I missed a set that I had that night. Oh damn! Yeah, I woke up. I like I I drank I drank like a little bit of lean, and then I woke up at like 10 p.m. and just missed my just like missed a day. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's like I don't understand the that appeal is of it. Pretty badass. Honestly, man. yeah, to just like <laughs> that's cool. Drink lean, and then immediately, uh, you know, lay your weary head to rest. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like it sucks. It's I don't know. I mean it's like I don't know. Maybe it's great. It's probably it's it's great for a lot of people. But I don't think I'm I don't think it's for me. Yeah. I was prescribed it once and I didn't do like the the sp I didn't do like lean. I just drank a lot of it mm -hmm. out of the bottle and it was like the best I've ever felt in my life. So No, I had it I had it when I like needed it before. Yeah. And uh when I had bronchitis. Oh. Yeah. I'm so glad you're still here. Yeah, thank you. It's the dang cigarettes you smoke, man. Ouch. No, I, I do think I have... I'm getting a smoker's cough. 
which is ba- bad. How so? What Where is I'm the smoker's like, cough? Is it just uh, it's all the time or something? It's just when you have a persistent cough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, You're which, on that COPD grind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't. I want to. Uh, I want to knock it off. Feels too early in my life. How long have you been smoking? Um, out the womb, man. <laughs> out the womb. I told you he was bad. Um, no, I think like when I was, not until I was twenty one, so a decade ago. Yeah. And I think I um, I it started as a, as a bit. Really. Because I was like, ha ha, <laughs> oh look at me, you guys. I'm <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> what if I? <laughs> what if I was? Smoking a cig, ha ha ha, and then I just became addicted to nicotine. Mm. It's really bad. It's 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 bad. Don't start if there's a if there's kids listening to to this. What about like Zen? Isn't that like? Can you just switch to Zen? Is it not the same? I heard it's I heard it's uh, great, but you're still just like addicted to nicotine. Yeah, but you don't get the the. I mean, oh, like tar. The there's no yeah. tar and all those toxins. I guess I could cool stuff. try. I've, I've, I have a drool. Yeah. But um, no, I did hear. I heard Tucker Carlson talking about Zen on Theo Vaughn's pod, and he was like, he was geeked. He was geeked off the Zen. Yeah. He was zooted off the Zen. A lot of photos of Tucker Carlson with like, like a circle outline in his back pocket, and all the comments are like. Sig apps from Florida, and they're like, "Fuck yeah, like that's yeah. my president." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. No, he loves it. He loves it. He is. Um, I mean, he comes off very likable in the the Theo Vaughn podcast. They don't really get into any sort of like culture war topics. Mm-hmm. From what I from what I saw, it's mostly like Tucker being like, "Yeah, I used to love cocaine." Yeah, <laughs> and then you're watching that just sort of, you know. You're watching. You're watching this like apolitical convo, and you're like, you know, I hey, I could I could hang out with this guy. It is. It's very strange. He went, he, went, he went to Trinity, which is, I think, the whitest college in the world. It's in Connecticut. Mm. It's really private school in Connecticut. Like, yeah. Oh right. Super, like very super frat. Yeah. Very frat. Yeah. He's uh, there was like there. He probably did some like secret society shit mm-hmm. that like. He's got skeletons. Yeah. He had to, like, stuff his balls in between his legs and get spanked. <laughs> Shit like that. There's a... Uh, Wait, did you guys go to school? Yeah. Yeah, I went to probably the second whitest school in the country, TCU, so... Oh, Texas Christian? Texas Christian. Oh, shit. Surprising. Well, first whitest? Trinity. Oh. She doesn't listen to the episode. She just looks at pictures of her dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, about, what about you, Liam? I went to UMass. Amherst. UMass, yeah. oh, UMass Amherst. What about you? I dropped out of VCU, Wait, Virginia that? Commonwealth University, Richmond, Virginia. Mm. But it was like a very brief stint. I went to, I did the community college thing first, mm. and then I transferred. I was like, I want to drop out of a real school, mm-hmm. and so I, yeah, I dropped out of VCU in Richmond, Virginia, and that's uh, if you look at the the Virginia Commonwealth University alums, um, as of like recent. Like as of like, however, however many uh, years, mm-hmm. um, there's me. I dropped out of it, out of VCU, and um, Moot, the creator of 4chan, <laughs> the creator of 4chan, also dropped out of the same school as me. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, All, a lot of whites in Richmond as well. That's well, yeah. It's Richmond's diverse, but Richmond is sort of the that's that's it's south of Richmond is like the south okay and then above that you've got like northern virginia richmond is the capital and it's sort of a it's sort of a mix um but i mean that's why they what was that song that was really big uh the the like men north of richmond or whatever no i don't don't that's all you know what song i'm talking about like Rich men north of Richmond or something. By the way, she's the best in the game. Yeah, rich men north of oh yeah, north of yeah, Richmond. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. okay. It, like chart. It was like a number one song. Yeah, this guy <laughs> Oliver Anthony was blowing up, and then people started making. I love when people uh, just make fun of country songs. They just mm. change the lyrics to like it's just gay. Just, mm-hmm. make it just gay. To, like make it gay. Yeah, because they because that you know they don't like that. No, nah, they're like no, they're gonna get them red hot. <laughs> 
piss him right off, dude. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I actually didn't listen to the song ever. I just heard like, I, I know they asked a question about it at the debate. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't heard it either, but I know it's basically like him saying like you're. Uh, like you're fat and I'm sick of paying for your welfare. That's like the whole song, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. You don't know. You didn't listen I, to it. No, either? I didn't listen to it either. Look at well, this. we should listen. Our the Venn diagram of our audience and his audience are like, <laughs> it's like that. It's almost, it almost <laughs> just looks like a one circle. Do you ever fantasize about just being a folk singer, like just like a, a cool kid in his bedroom with an acoustic guitar that just blows up on TikTok? Mm-hmm. Oh like, yeah, you know, I see some of those. On my yeah, that'd be sometimes. cool. Be the next Bieber, not even Bieber, dude. Just like like next, you know, Jack Kay's type of guy. We're just I'm singing about really sad shit. No, I think about this all the time. Yeah, I or just like, yeah, I would love to make a chart topping single. Every day I'm like, man, I should do that. (laughs) I should. Will has one. Sometimes I will Mm. sit in my bed and I'm like, I I have I like make up a beat in my head and I'm like, dude, I gotta start making music. I could I could really do it. It's so fucking easy. I think about that all the time. Yeah. I'm like, I, I I absolutely could make if I just, you know, you know, made a, a straight album of just beats and mm. just tossed it out there and was like, anyone hop on these tracks. Yeah. Anyone can hop just on. Just like a beat tracks. pa beat pack. Yeah. Just drop that. You know. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. We should all we should all do that. We should all like make uh hit music. I actually would. I would love that. I think if we teamed up, we could make a pretty good hip hop beat slash throw some lyrics on that. Should trip we... hop? Let's make some trip hop. Hey, Emily, yeah. pull up a uh, Tommy DeVito's <clears throat> agent. Have you guys seen this? Can you explain why he's the talk of the town? Uh, well, we're about to get into it. Okay. Do you follow football at all? Uh, a little bit. I the Seahawks have been. Uh, Seahawks are my team. I was raised. I was raised a Seahawks fan, and they've sort of been flopping. Past yeah. couple weeks, um, this, wait, Tommy, is this the this is um, the Italian guy that's like the new Giants quarterback because the main guy's injured? Okay, and his agent, I know he's Italian, but this is this feels racist. This feel he's like a caricature of an Italian guy. I don't know why he's, he's on leaning, the field. He's leaning into the whole Tommy DeVito. It's awesome. They're really leaning into this Italian thing. Well, they they it feels like they they think he's gonna be a one hit wonder, fifteen minutes of fame, and mm-hmm. they're really trying to milk it. Look at that guy. Oh on the right. no! That's shut up! Agent. That's his agent. His dad, his agent, and his little brother. Tommy DeVito. He's doing the hand. Yeah. But this guy, I mean, he looks like a mobster, like a mafia mafioso. Yeah. Are you familiar? Yeah. That's that's well, yeah. um that's yeah. It feels like a, a Italian American minstrel. Yeah. Yeah. There he is, top left. That's the oh, yo. fucking guy. Yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> oh, no, I got the smoke Damn. cough, dude. Oh, no. All my TikTok feed is just, do you guys have those high school, or sorry, uh, college football, just slideshows, where they just break down old players from 2011? Yeah, I guess. Oh, years. No. Oh, it's all, no. I, all I do all day is just sit around and just l- listen about the upsets from the 2007 <laughs> college football season. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my God, Illinois beat fucking Georgia. That's insane. Just <laughs> mm-hmm. And I, I just didn't experience it ever. Mine are like, where are these athletes from 2003 that were the top 20 ranked high school football players? And I recognize one of the names. But I read all of them, and it's it's such a waste of fucking time. And it's really sad music because most of them didn't pan out, and so I'm just feeling really sad about this. this is it is it one of the ones where the the guy puts him puts himself in the front? Not even. It's just full slideshow. Full just slideshow. Like, taking a quick break again to talk to you about game time. I have had many, many, many times in my life where I've it's just been frustrating trying to get tickets, trying to get last minute tickets, even trying to get tickets in advance can be annoying. You shouldn't have to worry about when you buy tickets. To your next big event okay game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports music comedy and theater events near you with killer last minute deals all in prices views from your seat and their best price guarantee game time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets i like it because you get to like see where your seat is before you buy the ticket take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time Download the GameTime app, create an account, and use code FRIDAY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code F-R-I-D-A-Y for $20 off. Download GameTime today. Last-minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. 
let's get back into the episode. Oh, and I got this. Uh, have you guys seen that OnlyFans uh, girl that uh, leaked her DMs with the guy that's been like stalking her? Oh yeah. Oh no. It's oh, have you seen the saddest that? thing I have ever seen in my life? She, she has a stalker essentially. Uh, Here, Emily, I'm sending it to you. Don't don't you worry. I don't think that's it. Speaking of OnlyFans, did you see the message I sent you guys? No. Well, no. Uh, what is it? Uh, this woman reached out to us. She works for OnlyFans. She's like, she thinks that you and Will would be great for OnlyFans. And she no would love shit. to set up a call to <laughs> meet with you guys. No shit, dude. My naked penis would make millions. Oh, no. they've been they've been pushing like <clears throat> like OF comedy. Yeah, no. Oh, it really? was like yeah, there was what was the um fuck. I'm trying to um think of like what what the show was called. They have like some some kind of show that's like they're really pushing like comedy on OnlyFans. Right? Yeah, they're trying to do like brand rehabilitation. It's too late. Like the the barn doors open and right. all the fucking animals are gone, and they want it to be like Patreon now, and it's right. far too late. Yeah, it's porn. It's already it's porn. porn. It's porn. It's it's uh, it's, it's like if Pornhub wanted to be YouTube now. It's just far too late. Is this the guy that like ran into Ruby Rose? Yeah. Have you seen the text? Oh, God damn. Hold on. The texts are way too long, but we got to read some of them. So she was like getting heat, I guess, for like making fun of him. But scroll through, Emily. There's okay, because I, I remember scroll seeing up. the first post that's like, click ran into uh, my, my top donor on OnlyFans. Okay, click the arrow. Yes, there we go. Okay, so look, he is just like, how does click see full image. How does um he have her number? Like, I don't really get it. All right, let's zoom in a little. Okay, look, like, there is... This guy should be locked oh, up. Oh, wait, his name is Brandon? <laughs> is it? Brandon oh. Weird, Weird OF Brandon fan. Weird OF Dude, fan. that's what he's in the phone at. <laughs> I'm in love with you. Why don't you love me? I would do anything for you. I would fly anywhere to be with you, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so look. Okay, now go back. There's like 10 images, but there's one. You got this, Emily. Shut up. Sorry. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It just keeps going. There's one that makes me want to throw up. Ruby, stop ignoring now me. Now he's getting angry. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Have you ever sent a woman all caps paragraph? No, I, don't, I don't think I have. wild. No. I don't think so. And then he goes, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. I did not mean to. Have you ever been sent a DM like this, Emily? What happened just sending, sending a woman like your hair and your pubes and a little bit of <laughs> Wait, keep going. There's one. Keep going. One more. One more. Yeah, there's a lot. Right here. Right here. This is the best part. So she hasn't responded at all. Yeah. I will send you 10 Bitcoin right now if mm, you answer me. That yes. is worth almost $400,000. All you have to do is respond to me with one word, Ruby. Mm -hmm. Please, I need your attention. I need to make sure that <laughs> Wait, my the... kitten is safe. Ew! Keep going. And there's like a and photo then, then... of like what, what Bitcoin is doing right now. Wait, this is the best part. And then he goes, Bitcoin is one of those investments I was talking with you about Man. on OnlyFans. And you're asking me what I do. And I then... promise you it will be the best investment of our life. All you have to do is just react to one of my messages Please, I beg you, I cannot think to live without you. She could have thumbs down that message and he would have sent her $400,000. And <laughs> would the, you thought have done of him, that? the thought of him is so repulsive, she didn't do that. Would you have done it? No, because I think that like he's going to end up wearing her skin and like, yeah. you know. No, because that opens up a new yeah. bag of worms. Yeah. Or it's like, now you owe me. This, so OnlyFans has created this new. He thinks he has ownership over her, but at the same time, look at that. Oh, is that it? He got a tattoo. He got yeah, added. Oh, my God, dude. He, like, the hooks in his brain Ooh, cannot shit. come out. Oh, Ooh. man. What's that picture? That looks scary. He's that's, definitely like. That's him wearing her skin. Oh, that's him getting the tattoo. Him getting the tattoo. I have a surprise to show you my commitment. I know you will love it. It's almost done. I can't wait to show it to you. There's one text he sent that's like, look, here's oh, the man. situation. We need to get married. I won't. I won't cheat on you. You can bang as many guys as you want. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But I need to know that at the end of the day, you're mine and my kitten is safe. My kitten is safe. Oh man. My Ooh. perfect little princess. You are stunning. Wait, did he? Did he spell perfect? P U R R. Big miss. Oh. Big miss. <laughs> Big that. miss. Big miss. Brandon. Have you seen that video of that? Uh, 
that dude that can meow really well? No. No. Oh, this is. You pull out a video, it's just you. <laughs> <laughs> that first one. Cran raspberry ocean spray gives more pizzazz to your meows. Whoa! Whoa! How good is that? Cran raspberry. Oh, Whoa! He's got, Damn. he's got. He's got. It's his whole, his whole page. Is him just spray, meowing like a Some more a cat? Yeah. yeah. What if that's your dad? What do you do, <laughs> dude? That guy looks just like my dad. If that's my dad, I'm pumped. Damn. Oh uh, yeah. That, oh, that could be, dude. A lot of old people on TikTok. I had some people in Nashville. Oh country. yeah. This one guy was like fifty. And he came up to me and he's like, dude, I'm a TikTok fool. I sit in my bed four to five hours a night scrolling. And I, I think my dad, every time I come home now, I see my dad scrolling on TikTok. Yeah. It's crazy. No, I've done, I've done, I've gotten down holes yeah. on TikTok where I, I'm lurking and I, I look at the comments and I see like David 01555, whatever. And I like click his profile and then I'm like, I'm just watching like, TikToks from like the most like regular ass like fifty somethings, um, and I'll, I I end up spending like an hour yeah looking at like uh, weird strangers. Same, I've, T- been, I've yeah. been following dads who are posting their sons' high school football highlights. Yes, hell yeah, and then just getting involved in the comments mm-hmm. and really inserting myself in that whole situation oh yeah you showed me one of those i can't remember if we talked about it on the pod or not we did and now there's even more like that's expanded me into just random states where i'm like oh my god uh yeah throw this one on you guys have seen this already but this is one of my favorite hey what's all up time. how's that party the other night it was all right but there was this guy and he's with his girlfriend and he's trying to get her to do something that she didn't want to do so what'd you do about it i didn't do anything whoa what Guys, don't be like my friend here who didn't do anything. Not doing anything is part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> One take. Favorite video of all time. <laughs> what is that for? It's just like two kids with Asperger's hanging out. Like their video final in high school, I think. It's really awesome. You know those like uh, American Idol auditions where... It's not even funny. The contestant freak out. You're like they're yeah. exploiting a mental. No, it was yes. so. No, that show was like cruel. It was yeah. It was it was literally yeah. Simon Cowell's like I want to take this person with Asperger's and right. I want to get this person who legally isn't allowed to have a license and I'm right. gonna make them cry. On. It is weird. Yeah. Like looking back, like that's that's what um, America's Got Talent and uh, what what's the show? Um, the radio host. Uh, What's really famous guy? Howard Stern. Howard, Howard Stern. Stern. Howard like, Stern was way worse. So much, so much well, of it is just like making fun of an autistic guy. Well, yeah, I mean that's the that's why I like. I mean, with regards to the whack pack on Howard Stern, I'm a huge Beetlejuice guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were just talking about we were talking about this beforehand. But Beetlejuice feels like, and maybe this is just me like doing mental gymnastics to, mm-hmm. you know, enjoy these videos. But I do feel like Beetlejuice is. Too confident to be exploited, you know. Yeah. But then, like, you look at other guys in the whack pack, and there's like, you know, there's a guy who's literally called like Gary the Retard. Yeah. And like, well, yeah, maybe I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I don't know about that one. But <laughs> did he? But give like, I love that Be- nickname or no? Know, well, no, <laughs> absolutely but, like, not. but like, doesn't like Beetlejuice embrace it like that? Yeah, Beetlejuice yeah. like has well, like Beetlejuice has like a swagger about him when he like walks into a room, like kind of strides in, you know. Yeah, his Packers um, jersey. Yeah. Oh, I love the Packers jersey is like the best Beetlejuice video ever because it has like it has, has him speaking Spanish and Chinese and um, and Italian, and it has him talking to he's who he, he thinks that he's talking to the sitting president of the United States. <laughs> oh man, he like thinks he's talking to Obama. <laughs> That's like that's the best. That's like the best one. Um, this is a true story. I won't say who, but someone in our office uh, sat down to do an interview with uh, Howard Stern's company, mm. like to work for them, not to interview them for like a journal. And one of the questions the casting person asked him was yeah. like, "Are you okay with like making fun of mentally retarded people for comedy?" She just 
Oh, just they just flat point, out point blank asked him like, which is like not. It's like um, it's very strange. Well, when was what year was this? Not that long ago. What? But it couldn't no. have. It had to have been like a while ago because Howard Stern has now overcorrected. <laughs> We're like he's, he's he's gone woke now. He's he yeah not to not to like sound like not to sound like you know yeah I'm not I'm not it's just he 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 got on the radio and he's like he's like oh like they say I'm woke hell yeah I'm woke I'm I'm one of the wokest guys whatever like and he's like he's really big into like uh you know talking about the vaccine mm. <laughs> but I don't I don't want to talk about it either you know. Yeah. I got it. I got it when they asked me to get it. Yeah. And then I, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not going to get it again. Mm-hmm. You know. Anyway. Yeah. W- were you ever into like uh, Pruane 2 Forever? What is that? Oh, wait, really? Wait, Pruane. Can we search Pruane 2 Forever? Yeah. That was like, yeah, we can. that was my shit. Like the screw you porn addicts. That was like his first search. Uh, screw you porn addicts. <laughs> Is this like a Christian rap or something? No, 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 no. It's like here. Oh Hello. yeah. Oh yeah. What is this? <laughs> oh yeah, I know this guy. Yeah. Hello. Before I start this video, I just want to say thanks to Lay Shizzle. Lay Shizzle for subscribing to my videos and giving me a good comment. Thanks, Lay Shizzle. Okay, this video is to the people who advertise porn on YouTube. Just what the hell? Like, why are you doing it? Do you think people, when they see that little shitty comment, they're going to just say, Oh my god, a porn site! Let's go there! Oh my god, I'm going to see all this great porn! Get, Get a life, life and, and stop, stop jacking it! it. <laughs> god. Anyway. Just stop and get a life. Porn's not even good anyway. So stop jacking off, find a chick, and have <laughs> sex with her, and then maybe you'll feel a little bit better about yourself. Thank you, and screw you, you people, people who put, put that shit, shit on YouTube. YouTube. Dude, thank, thank you. you. That's no, Pruin was like... And oh, man, thank you for lace, watching lace my videos little. and subscribing, Lay Shizzle. All right. no. yeah, I'll no, try to make more. What's well, his name? His name Pruin, is... Pruin to forever. Um, and he has like, I mean, he has that one video where 50 Cent like flew him out. To this New York. kid. Yes. Cause he had some video about 50 Cent where he's going in, where he's, uh, he's talking about like, I guess 50 Cent, uh, had like a dildo made, uh, based off of his own, uh, his cock. And he, he was, you know, he's like 50 Cent, you're nothing but a corporate whore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, whatever, like. So he flew him out his, to change his mind. Yeah, he's like, you know, he's he's doing ads for vitamin water. He's not going to get street cred for that. You know, <laughs> he's, he's like, you know, he's talking about all that, whatever. 50 Cent flies him out to New York for like a night, like puts him up and makes a video with him where he's like, you know, I mean, you can just pull it up. You can pull yeah, up can Pruin. Pull up? And, uh, I mean, this is like, I that was my favorite Pruin to forever and 50 Cent. It's like. Uh, I that's my favorite era of YouTube because it feels like there was room for that to to like blow up. Yeah, yeah. You know, like now, yeah. Now it's oh people. no 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 that's the, that's not the that's like an edit. Um, I'm not kidding. When we make a hip hop song, because now we have. Yeah, to, I think. Have, oh, that second one. We have to sample him saying "Stop jacking off." <laughs> oh yeah. Go have sex with a woman. We need a good producer tag too, but we'll talk about that. Yo, what's up? It's the kid Fifty Cent. Coming at you live on thisis50.com. I know y'all got a chance to check out my new video. Okay, right, last night. Fire. It's hot. You understand what I'm saying to you? But I'm here to introduce to you the new secret weapon right here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's Brewing 2 Forever, and I flew out here from Canada to meet Fiddy. <laughs> just kicking it old Man. school, bitches. Right, we're just kicking it, bitches, and you know what? Fall back, all right? <laughs> Oh, today's Friday. You understand? Friday is the only day that he can't have a hundred hoes on him. You understand? So he's chilling. We're chilling in New York City, baby. All the way from Canada. <laughs> 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 <la
<laughs> yeah. What do you say? G G G, -G unit. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's really nice. It's actually that. Oh yeah. And I do love that. If you if you just like pause real quick, the the background. You couldn't set design this any better. No, Joe. Yeah. Like the the South Park poster and the like, you know, Dark Knight. Uh, it's. I mean, it it really. I do miss this era of YouTube. That's such a good point. There's so yeah. many people that try to like, they try to d fake it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? They try to do this and like it's clearly for views, but like there is a graveyard of channels yeah. with videos that have 20 million views that the people have no longer have access to. Yeah. And they can't take it down. Well, they, this is just, it was such a pure time. Yeah. And it's before it was like, I mean, now the front page is just like whatever was on Fallon last night or, you know, it's like everything's everything's like built to game the algorithm. Yeah. But that that was like a time where something like this could really flourish. It's a, you know, I, I love I was like a massive Pruin 2 Forever fan. What's he up to now? Do you know? Um, He's like he's he's, uh, you know, he logged off, but he's I follow him. I follow him on Instagram. And we have I've, cheating and killed her. <laughs> we've DM'd. We've DM'd. Actually, and, yeah, yeah. We we've we've DM'd, and he's he uh, yeah. He's sort of uh, he's not in the public eye, but he seems to be doing all right. Nice. I I, w I wish him well. I I love I ugh, I love I love Pruinto forever. This reminds me of that video of the the kid with the backpack screaming to like stop bullying him. That's another one of those videos. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't want to know that one. It, you don't need to. Yeah, I don't want to. You know what it is. Yeah, I mean, that kind of. I don't know. That's not gonna make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> they're all. No, they're all the not same. gonna. Yeah. They're all the same type of video. Yeah. Guys, taking a quick break to talk to you about how bad my hangovers are and how much anxiety I get because I'm a bad guy and uh, treat myself like fucking like a landfill. Uh, it sucks. Well. Liam, you don't get scary hangovers anymore with Waterboy. True. Waterboy is a hydration powder scientifically formulated to cut your hangover time in half. There are other hydration packs on the market, but nothing comes anywhere close to fighting those Sunday scaries like Waterboy. I can I can attest to this. True. That's true. And it's not just for you. Waterboy's hangover recovery formula makes a thoughtful stocking stuffer or a fantastic gift for your loved ones. Show them you care about their well-being this holiday season. For this holiday season, our listeners will get 15% off your entire order with our exclusive link at waterboy.com slash almost Friday. Waterboy saved me this morning to come do this podcast, honestly. Hundreds of thousands of people already trust Waterboy as their hangover cure. It's time to stop dealing with that anxiety alone. For a limited time, my, our listeners get an exclusive 50% off discount with our link at waterboy.com slash almost Friday. That's 50% off. 15% off at waterboy.com forward slash almost Friday. It's time to ho, 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 hydrate this holiday season. <laughs> Let's get back into the episode. All right, why don't you do a character now? All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, is that do we? Is that okay? Do we have your consent? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have my enthusiastic consent. Cool. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm one of those guys doing the name a woman trend. Okay, and I'm just gonna, yo, Angus. Yo. Yo, name a woman. Uh, Taylor Swift. Brandon, name a woman. Um. Uh, Rosa Parks. I was say like uh, say like uh, Sydney Sweeney. Uh, tits. Oh, like say like Sydney got, Sweeney. Say she has to say she's something about her like giant tits or something. Oh, she's got some huge some knockers. Yeah, I think it's say something about like Sydney Sweeney and like uh, so, um, something about her having like the fattest tits you've ever seen or like something like something about her fat tits. Uh, Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, let's say like say like. Because I love her fat tits. So. Is that part of the trend? Brand, say some more shit about like seeing some What's fat tits. I don't. I don't want to do this. Say like. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna ask you guys again, and then uh -huh. we'll just like say, Sydney Sweeney, and then I'll be like, that's probably good. And the, what are you gonna name? Say? A, brand, a, a, brand, uh, brand name name woman. Um. Sydney Sweeney because 
her, her I like fat big. Angus. Is that part of the trend? Angus, mm. the name is a uh, lady, a woman. Name the name woman off the top of your head. Do you want me to say Sydney Sweeney? Well, like, is it really fat tits? Why? Is that not part of the trend, it's like though? The, the trend is like you're saying it. <laughs> okay. Or like, that's just, doesn't even have to be Sydney Sweeney. Just like any woman with like crazy, like where like you think about it, you're like, that just tits. Okay. It's like oiled up. Like I'm trying to oil up somebody's tits. But you want me to just say Sydney Sweeney then? Or just like, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want? Just like, take it, take it, run with it. Okay. Oh, uh, name woman, I guess. Sydney Sweeney. Brandon, name woman. Sydney Sweeney. Did you get what you wanted out of that? Liam? Is the video... Are you still recording? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> trying to think. Are you trying to think of a like like, big-breasted like, woman? No. Be like... Uh, be like, I don't know, Sydney Sweeney. Say it like that. Go ahead, Angus. Okay. Name a woman. I don't know, uh, Sydney Sweeney. Nice, that was better. You want me to do it again? Please. Okay. Uh, I don't know, man. Sydney Sweeney. They were like fat tits or something. Because of her fat I don't want to say I think fat. I got it. Dude, that's going to be huge. I don't get why that's not part of the trend. It is. You go like, you're like... Yeah, like just be like, I want to. Is it for like baiting for clicks? Is that why you're doing that? You're like supposed to like ask a guy, and then he's supposed to say like Sydney Sweeney because he's thinking about like giant tits, probably like glistening, Mm, like sparkling. mm, Yeah. Like, okay. Twilight skin, sunshine. (sighs) No, that's funny. That's funny. It's funny. That's good. That's good. Yeah. No, I think people are gonna people are gonna 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 really like that, man. Emily, name a woman. Michelle Obama. Say like a... No. Say like a... It's like the... Liam. Yeah. Can't, you, we get to move on. Sure. Or? You got the you got the video. I got it. I think it's yeah. got it's uploading. I'll tag you guys. <laughs> I'm good. You don't have, you to, don't have, you don't to, have to, to tag us. Do that. Sweeney. I'll put you word posted. It's just like funny because it's like. No, I got. Supposed it. to like name a girl in the room. I just like, feel like that trend was years ago. Right. Well, I don't know. Could blow up. I guess. Could blow up. Because I see all of them. Like, it's like a girlfriend asking her boyfriend. You're like, obviously, you would say your girlfriend's name, and the guy's like Sydney Sweeney, and the girl's like. Why? Because you're thinking of her giant tits, and he's like, "No." Is this something that happened to you, and you're trying to prove a point to your girlfriend? No, no, no. This is just like something I've seen on like a million times online. Go ahead. You've seen a million times online. You want to recreate it now? Yeah, yeah. I thought. I don't know. You can go. Go what? You can go. We're done. Oh, the character's over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hate you, Liam. That's good. That's good. That would make my tummy hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, dude, I've seen a million videos of like girls be. I know it's so fucking annoying. And they're like, "Why?" <laughs> and he's like, "Because we're fat, stinking. Because her t- tits stink." Go ahead. <laughs> okay. This is a character I had in a dream, mm. and it was at, the dream was. I was trying to come up with a character, and I came up with the character in the dream because I was having a fever dream. Last mm, night. Yes, it's really bad. <clears throat> all right, this is I, I'm Joe. Good ass name, and um, we're all just having dinner, and you're uh, you just ask like, is it cool if I breastfeed my kid? Cool. Yes. Yeah, so, um, Marsh is doing great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's doing really yeah. good. Um, and uh, it's cool. It's cool. You know, they're in the starting up school soon. Um, uh, the pressure, precious. I know, I know. It's like it's going by so fast. Do you mind if? I, sorry, do you mind if I breastfeed? Huh? Do you mind if I breastfeed? Of course not. Cue with me. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Is there a room I could go to? No, this is a good gate out here. I think I've seen. Okay. 
people do that. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, Marsha has been. Sorry, what was I saying? Um, Marsha's been good, and uh, and I think we're starting school soon. Um, so hopefully. The flash. Th- Glare's coming off my phone. Can I see your phone? Yeah, I think it's like busted or something. Can I see it? It I looks think like, like you're recording. No. Yeah, I just said turn it off. Sorry. <clears throat> um, you were recording my tit. No, but anyway, we were talking. What were you talking about? Uh, your kids. And, yeah, you know. I think like, I think I just uh, got like nervous. Okay. Yep. You can check my recently deleted now. <laughs> What? Okay. No. Oh, well, I mean, if I'm letting you, that should be enough proof for you to be like, oh, if he's letting you, he's not. What are you doing now? Sorry. I'm just trying to... What? Can I see it now? I've never seen something like this in my life. I mean, that's the most milk I've ever seen come out of a tit. What's the point? What is that? Now, what are you getting in the... Send it to my dad. (laughs) (sighs) Oh, he said it was blurry. Liam. Yeah. Go ahead, man. They're already all online anyways. I was a real slut whore in college. (laughs) All right, I got enough of them. Sorry about that. What were you saying? My tits are all over World Star. Uh, we were talking about your uh, your kids. Yeah. <laughs> I fought a chick in college. And my tits fell out, and the video went viral. So I don't really care. <laughs> my tits are all over the internet. Yeah. I fought a black girl in college, and she ripped my shirt off. <laughs> my tits were out. Hers fell out. She didn't care either. Yeah. It was just everyone called it the Oreo fight. Oreo tit fight. All right, I got what I wanted out of that. I'm glad. All right, that was it. That's that was great. <laughs> I knew exactly <laughs> the second I was. Yeah. <laughs> this is another classic, I guess, loud screenshot. Take just, you that's it. <laughs> this is another thing I just wanted to do with the fellas real quick. Mm-hmm. Not, don't do video. Google coolest quotes from the town. <laughs> and then let's just read some cool quotes from the town. <laughs> Feels like something people might be interested in. Uh. Brandon, why don't you take that first one there? Okay. <laughs> uh, you're you're Doug McRae. Yeah, can we... I'm can James Coughlin. Can we zoom in on this? I'm, okay. I'll be James Coughlin. Okay, I'm Doug. you Dougie. I need your help. I can't tell you what it is. You can never ask You can never ask me about it later, and we're going to hurt some people. Who's Kyle we going to take? <laughs> is that a notable quote from the movie? Yeah, it's like one of the main lines from the town. People are always quoting the, that? I've never seen the town. You've never seen the town? No, I've never seen the town either. You guys have never seen the town? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? I'm I'm glad that I'm... It's kind of cool experiencing it through this, though. So they're all Bo- they're Boston guys? I think yeah. that's the thing, because it's like yeah. Boston guys, like, one last heist. Oh, yeah. this, this is one of my favorite One, one. last fucking Th- heist. This is, this is from uh, James Coughlin. He goes, if we get jammed up, we're holding court on the street. They're sh- they're ho- they're, he's, not going, cool. he's not going back to jail. That's dude. a pretty cool quote. Scroll down some more. I'll rip, I'll rip some more. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> is this movie like a Boston guy's wet dream? Yeah. So this I is thought the- that was... What, they, they already have... They have enough of those. Boondock Saints and all that. Boondock Saints oh. is the funniest movie of all time. Yeah, I just watched it for the first time like a month ago. It's, I think, one of the greatest comedies ever made. Ever. The opening scene is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Willem Dafoe doing like an orchestra while he's like piecing together mm-hmm. the the scene. Oh, wait, have you guys seen uh, Mr. Robot? That show with a uh, fucking. It's like it was I've never, I never saw it. No. Do we get any you advice? Just, it's, uh, yeah. Do you get any good advice? <laughs> Questions? Yeah. Oh yeah. Can can we hit, hit pick it. your brain for a moment? Sure. We want to give some people advice that listen to the show. Oh, I would love, I would love, I would love. Isn't this. that cool? It's like an original segment we thought of. <laughs> Nobody else has ever done it. The only one. And we do it the best. <laughs> it's just Liam telling uh, nurses to kill themselves usually. 
What's the least desperate way to slide into someone's DMs when you're actually the most desperate? That sucks. Next. <laughs> Whoever asked that, unfollow. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My that, roomie was, that was Brandon uh, <laughs> OnlyFans Weird guy <laughs> What was that? What was the contact? It was like It was literally Brand like Brandon Brandon oh, Weird OnlyFans guy Yeah Imagine if your life amounted to that In someone's eyes Pretty rough You're just a barnacle Yeah Guys taking a quick break From the episode to talk about You know him You love him We need him Better Help It's the holiday season Lots of gift giving, lots of gift receiving. I love giving gifts, guys, but my love language is receiving them. You know I'm a greedy little bastard. But sometimes you need to give to yourself. Does that make sense, guys? What am I saying? What am I really saying? You need to define how to give to yourself. And the holidays are a great time to do that. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during the tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest... I know I've been doing that. Remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional cost. That's insane, and that's huge. Visit betterhelp.com slash beers to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash beers. Let's get back into the episode. Okay. My roommate constantly watches TV on the on her phone or iPad loud with the volume completely up and does not seem to realize that it's not normal. We share a bedroom and she'll do it when I'm asleep. Uh, how can I get her to put in some headphones without it coming off as mean? Ask nicely. It's crazy. What the fuck? So many people like the just the amount. It's 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 it's. Are you afraid of confrontation? It's like the smallest amount of confrontation possible. Can you please put on headphones? <laughs> yeah. It's the so weird how no. This is like a new thing. I I I maybe it's it's. Uh, I feel like it's like the last couple years. Like I'll see um you know like viral TikToks yes. or tweets about like. Oh, like when the DoorDash guy knocks at your door, you have to, you have to exchange. Pla you have to be like, thank you. <laughs> you have to like grab the food that you got from like this like wage slave. Like, you have to like be nice to a stranger mm -hmm. for like f fucking ten seconds. Just I don't know. Just ask your roommate to put on headphones. Yeah, yeah. People have lost all. Is this like a post-COVID thing? Yes. It must be. Yeah. People have lost all ability to, like, function socially. You know what my Just roommate... ask your roommate to put on headphones. My roommate the other day gave his DoorDash delivery driver $2 and quarters for a tip. No. And I, oh God. I was like, you can't do that. You can't hand that man quarters. And he did. <sighs> that is a bummer. And he, he, was just doing, be like, he, he, was, he was like, I'm about to... Do a favor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was like, This is a benevolent gesture. Mm -hmm. I'd rather also, have no tip than. Yeah. It's also, to me, that's like, Hey, um, I wasn't going to use these. <laughs> this is essentially, this is trash. If these were on the floor, I would have vacuumed <laughs> them and not picked them up. Eight loose Here you quarters. Go. I'm trying to get rid of these. Take them. One of them's kind of slimy and I don't know why. Yeah. I think that's from like, there might be, <laughs> it went through the wash and I just picked pick, plucked it out and. Some laundry detergent on most of these. They're stuck together. Here you go. It was I. I felt I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes. That is crazy. That's a nasty. That's a nasty gesture. I'm sad. All right, Emily. Ran into a girl I knew from school at a bar. Hung out all night. Danced, had drinks, etc. Then she gives me her number, but ghosts me. What's my play? Nothing. She doesn't want anything to do with you. <laughs> she sobered up and realized yeah. what a mistake she made. Get Which she like gave you her number at the bar. And then she lost interest. She yeah. was like, maybe she was being polite. She sobered up and realized yeah. what she did. So you're what an are we... ugly man. <laughs> Is he <laughs> ugly? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, she uh, was may maybe she was being polite. She probably, yeah, she probably. Oh, he actually doesn't look ugly. Oh, surprising. Um, I don't think the play is to. I think the play is to like move on. Yeah, you and if she leave. is, if she is like interested, she will. If he wasn't make ugly, it known. Make sense. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
This one is kind of a brain teaser, actually. That's actually nice. You're handsome, and yeah. she doesn't want anything to do yeah, with you. Yeah, this is kind a of a word problem. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm taking the SAT right now. Huh. Yeah, this is kind of a train, one train leaving at 4 o'clock <laughs> situation. <laughs> what time will they meet? How fast will train B be going when they Whoa. collide? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> All right, give us one more here. My roommate dropped out, so I have... I have my whole dorm room to myself. What should I use the other side for? Calisthenics. Wake up every day, mm -hmm. do some uh, core strengthening activities, mm -hmm. uh, high knees, uh, toy soldier kicks. Um, what else could you do? Uh, do you guys have any like types of calisthenics? Lunges. You could do lunges. Mm -hmm. Collect cool bugs. Put them in there. Cool bug corner. Cool bugs? Cool bugs. Yeah, cool bug sweet. corner. Yeah, make it a temple to your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, that all good advice. If you do that, though, it's like where you put the cool bugs. Oh, I got an idea. Get it like a kiddie pool, fill it up with like green acrylic paint. Dip your bugs in there. Mm -hmm. Now you can just be like, now your bugs are toy army men. Yeah, you can be like, you ever seen a cool bug like this? This is like a whole room. It's a whole room in the... Um, damn. I guess what we're trying to say is like options are endless. Yeah. Ball pit. Ball pit. Ball pit. Ball pit. Bisexual lighting. Ooh, what's bisexual? What is that? That like purple lighting. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that is. Ball pit. Bisexual. Bisexual lighting. That's just fucking uh, just like raves. Just do like a rave. It's just like the. It's got the color palette of good <laughs> of the movie Good Time and mm -hmm. just yes. all raves. Yes. Yeah. 80s synth music blasting. Mm. You're about to have a really awesome semester. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, that is insane. My This happened to my friend in college, and she put both beds together and made it like a queen bed. So. Whoa, okay. Wow. But this is just, just so it's like one side of a room? I it's think... not a whole full room. It's like because the dorm room is shared. So this is. Well, some dorms, they have like a. Yeah, it depends. This is like a living room situation. There's yeah. four separate rooms, and now one of them's available. No, I think it's just two people, and one moved out. So it's like a room like this? One yeah. Room, yeah. Oh, it's cold plunge. Cold plunge. <laughs> cold plunge and sauna. Yeah. And just spend 90% of your time going between those. Cold plunge or isolation tank. Or like have just like three monitors up at once, and they're all just different bum fights playing like at all, at all mm -hmm. times. No, they're bringing it back, They're but it's unhoused fights. <laughs> it's unhoused. <laughs> People experiencing bum bumness fights. Yes, that was peak YouTube. That was, that was also the golden age. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't. Know. Maybe not. My father-in-law is a fucking asshole. <sighs> Earlier this year, I caught him trying to talk mad shit on me behind my back. My wife is upset with my newfound attitude towards mm -hmm. her dad. I gotta face the, this fucker for Christmas and pretend like I love him. Here's the ticker. Without any liquid courage, her family does not allow alcohol in their house. Mm -hmm. Religious fanatics. What would you boys do? You kind of sound like the Holy problem, my brother. Shit, dude. This sounds like such a, like, dude, d divorce. Yeah, my father-in-law is talking mad shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> when gonna... I see my father-in-law, <laughs> he gonna learn. I'm he gonna won't even say butt. him. He says EM. Like, he like what? my father-in-law is a fucking asshole. I caught, I caught him. Oh, yeah. I caught him talking mad shit about me. Yeah, what was he saying? We have to know. What was it? What was yeah. the shit like he hits my daughter? I'm gonna, need I to hear, I'm gonna really need to hear the father in law side of all this. Yeah. Yeah. For future reference, guys, provide as much information as possible. If you think you're typing out, lead with the question and then provide those juicy details that yeah. we need, that I crave. Um, I would get a divorce. Yeah. Give your all give your wife an ultimatum. Mm hmm Me or him. What's it gonna be? Your dad or me? Yeah, it's probably so many marriages like that. Actually, yeah, many. I hope to be in one one day. <laughs> I wonder if anyone will marry me. Probably not. Probably not. You're right. Clock's yeah. ticking. Come on, shut up. You gotta freeze those eggs. I'm 25. I know. Oh, I thought. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize it was that bad. You think about, you think about ever having kids? You gonna freeze those bad boys? I would freeze freeze my freeze, freeze my kids. Freeze your kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna freeze my kids for sure. 
Um, I would like to have a have children one day. Freeze yeah. them when they're two years old. <laughs> Not like freeze the sperm. Wait till they're two and freeze them. Mm-hmm. Hans all of them and then just break, break, break them out of the worst possible decade. To yeah. Be oh yeah, these are my kids. They're in carbonite. <laughs> Every time you don't like who just got elected, you put them in carbonite. Yeah. yeah. You wait till the next election. Oh, we'll circle back next election cycle. <laughs> um, yeah. What do you guys uh, do? You want kids? I think yeah, eventually one day. Yeah. I'll pray for your kids, Liam. <laughs> Why? It's give and take around here. That. You gotta, you gotta roll with the punches. Mm-hmm. With <laughs> yeah, you want? You, well, you don't. I don't want kids. Right. I don't know. I'll probably, oh. have, I'll probably have a couple little, little bastards running around. A couple rascals. You're sterile, aren't you? Yeah. I got nothing down there. It's just smooth. It smells like chlorine when you come. <laughs> yeah. It's not good, dude. Yeah, it's like alien. It's just another mouth that comes out and looks like my head. But uh, yeah, we'll see. See what happens. I'm gonna live a very happy long life. You get radiation poisoning if you have sex with Angus. Your hair and teeth start falling out days later. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> but it. But buddy, it's worth it. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you get you get Benjamin Button disease pretty quick. So. So that's it, right? That's the episode. That's it. That's all we have. That's all we have, guys. Yeah. guys I, that's all we have. I'm We're dying. Sorry. I'm melting. I'm not sorry. I had fun. We talked to uh, Pruane. What's his name again? Pruane 2 Forever. That's that's the heart and soul yeah. of the country, I think. Brandon, do you have anything you'd like to plug? Um. Yes. Well, the Brandon Jamel show. Check it out. I mean, uh, no one's listening you guys, anymore. You guys have been, yeah, yeah, maybe we can add this to the beginning. <laughs> at the start. Maybe we can just flip this. But, uh, you know, the Brandon Jamel Show is uh, my podcast with my buddy Jamel, and uh, you guys have been on it. Great app. Great app. It was a blast. Great app. And uh, I'm going to be in uh, Nashville, Atlanta, Athens, San Francisco um, pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Come out. Come out to those shows, uh, and yeah, you know that's all. You know, y- if you just type my name on the computer, you can find you can find all of this. Yeah, it'll be the first result. You can find all that stuff. Um, but you know, thank you guys. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for driving all the way. Absolutely. All right, bye everyone. See thank you. you. Bye. bye. See you next time.